So what kind of social and emotional learning and development happens in early childhood? What kind of skills do children start to learn? You know, social and emotional skills or social and emotional learning is such a broad category. I guess, you know, the first thing a lot of us would think of is that social skills is about learning to relate to others and emotional skills is about learning about your feelings and learning how to express your feelings. There's so much more to it though because I think um, emotional learning, well obviously it's about regulating your emotions and regulating your behaviour. I think social skills is a lot about learning skills and learning ways to be in a group, ways to be with other people. The skills that you learn, what you learn about how to relate to other people and what you learn about how to um, express your emotions and I would add to that what you learn about how you should feel about your emotions, but what you learn about um, what's okay to feel. Um, it seems to me very directly informs your sense of self. And so through those experiences, through social experiences and through the experiences of other people responding to you, you develop a picture of yourself. All of those who are involved in working with children uh, in the toddler and preschool period uh, can uh, really support children's development, but, but particularly psychologically and socially. And one of the key um, elements um, that children need in that age group is about emotional uh, intelligence, if you like, or helping children um, develop a vocabulary um, that allows them to express themselves, um, to give them words that, that help them describe emotional experiences, labelling of feeling states in self and in others. Uh, I think the, the focus on social interaction uh, is really a focus on building up empathic understanding. So young children are in the business of learning about uh, the impact of their um, behaviour and feelings and actions on others. We also want to encourage what we call you know, pro-social uh, development in children so that children actually start to understand that they can have an impact on others and that others might perceive or feel about things differently from them. We're not born knowing how to manage our feelings. We learn how to manage our feelings. And this is the job of infancy and early childhood is, how, is to learn how to manage one's own feelings. This is done in relationship with others, with uh, primary carers, usually mums and dads, but also very importantly with, with others. And this is where early childhood educators come in to play a very important role. It's really important not to expect children to know how to calm themselves down, um, particularly in the early years. What happens is um, parents and carers in the home usually will help children work out some way to calm themselves and that can then be taken out into the outside world. So in the beginning it starts with lots of cuddling and quiet soothing words that are spoken to upset babies and small children and then it moves on to more and more sophisticated strategies until the child themselves starts to know through repetition over and over and over again that they can calm themselves by whatever it is that works for them. Holding on to their teddy often works. Going off and playing in a corner and reading a quiet book might work. Some early childhood education centres have got places to go where, that are really um, quiet with a lack of stimulation, sometimes even a tent. Um, that helps children learn how to regulate their emotions. The pattern and order of each child's learning and development is unique. However, there will be some things that are common to many children. Each individual child will progress and show evidence of their learning and development, which will be influenced by their culture, health, experiences and interests. Although there is an age range during which most children acquire particular capabilities, learning dispositions and knowledge, learning and development do not always progress in a linear and smooth way. There will be bursts, stops and starts, and perhaps even backward steps. It is important for educators to focus more on the distance travelled, each child's progress and achievements, 
rather than on the child reaching a particular endpoint. The social and emotional skills developed in early childhood influence children's mental health and well-being now and into their future. Children learn these skills through their important relationships, including those with families, peers and early childhood staff. Early childhood services play an important role in offering a range of appropriate learning experiences and practice opportunities that promote social and emotional development. Early childhood mental health encompasses a child's experience of a variety of emotions. So you want them to be feeling good now and to be feeling secure in their relationships in order to be having an okay time here and now. But it also sets up a foundation for what they're able to kind of learn from there on in. So you've got a window in the first five years in which you know, the foundations are set for a child's capacity to relate, to be available to learning cognitive and language skills, how they might learn interactions with their peers and other people. And obviously all of those foundational skills has an impact on what school's like for them later on, how they feel about themselves, what sorts of relationships they're going to be drawn to what they're going to be like as a relationship partner, both to their peers and later on to family and so forth. And so you can see kind of the trajectory of, you know, if you get it right in the first five years, the impact that it's going to have really for the rest of their lives. One of the things that's important for early childhood educators to think about as they embrace the ideas around uh, children's mental health is to think about children's identity and well-being and their sense of security and connectedness in the here and now. So, and of course that would look different for a very young child, an infant who's coming into a service as children progress through their toddlerhood into their early childhood as three and four year olds and then transitioning through into school. It's both about being in the here and now with children, understanding where they're up to, what they feel, what they experience, what they understand about who they are in connection with others. So that sets, if you like, a, a foundation for the way that they operate into the rest of their lives. What we know about young children and the way that they learn and grow is that we can set some very strong foundations for how they interact with um, each other and how they understand themselves in relation to others that sets the trajectory for future development. <laughs>